Okay, you guys that are still experiencing FPS drops and haven't figured out the uh, the problem. The problem is the game, of course, and uh, there's a lot of talk about the physics. Well, concerning the ATI graphic cards, here is the proper fix. What you need, and you see 30 frames a second, if I stop fraps uh, recording at 30 frames, I get actually 150. Okay, I have... Um, Crossfire cards enabled. I have a badass computer, so don't ask me about the specs. It doesn't matter at this point. What matters is my options. I'm actually running the physics on high. Uh, I played around. I can probably crank up any tropic again, and it doesn't make a difference. So you see, physics high. Everything is high, high, high. On, 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 maximum. So, but you know by trying out um, that the graphics settings didn't make a difference. What you have to do is you have to download the Orochi CEG and I'll put the link in the description as well as here in the vidi video. Uh, download that. If you have an antivirus program it will tell you that it uh, tries to download and install a driver in the background. Let it do that. Um, I have myself, I have Kaspersky run and um, you know there's no nothing wrong with that driver. What it will do is it will improve your performance a lot. I usually got, when it got bad, 9 frames a second and uh, especially in the menus such as here I got 10. See it still is 30 and it's limited by fraps. So you need that Orochi CEG, install that and uh, install the latest physics drivers, uh, of course the latest graphic drivers and if you like the uh, Cap 3 profile for the ATI Catalyst so that you can run the Borderlands 2 um, template. Alright, so do that and you'll be set.